Well, Snap and Save is a, a consumer app that we've developed, which is going to allow consumers to get cash back on their everyday spend. We've obviously looked at making the process as simple as possible for the user. And essentially what you need to do as a user is go to the website, register on the website. We've also got a Mobi site, or you can download the mobile app. It's available on Android and Apple stores. Um, and basically, once you've registered, we've got a list of available offers on the site or on the platform. You go and look at those offers, whichever ones you like, you click on them and you book them. You then go into the store like you usually would, buy those items, and then afterwards send us a snap of your till slip. We'll process that till slip and then reward you with the cash back on the offers that you booked. We give you uh, cash back, no points or, or anything like that. We give you cash back. So what we basically do is when you're ready to cash out all the money that you've earned back off the offers that you've previously booked, um, you then have an option to cash that out and we give you what's called the Y code. So we've integrated with Y Group and basically you can use that code at all the participating retailers around the country to then spend that on your next shop. The concept came back basically from that and being, uh, being in the US, a couple of the founders were in the US and seeing how uh, people are so focused on uh, price and saving that bit extra. It's making it simple and easy for, for shoppers to get that money back or in any form to be able to use and spend when they want to and that's where the founder sort of saw this concept of simply taking a snap of or photo of your tool slip and helping you get money back on your everyday purchases to buy the things you want which we all want at the end of the day. You can use the platform to give you cash back on your everyday purchases. From a brand point of view uh, we're really giving them a platform to be able to engage with shoppers, to engage with the people that are looking to buy products that are similar to theirs or slightly different. Well, I think it's great working for a business that's actually giving consumers cash back. I mean, there's no charge for using our service, that downloading the app is free. There's absolutely no cost to the user when using our service. So it's really nice to be able to work for a company and market a business that's trying to actually make a really positive change in everyday South Africans' lives. I think, the, I mean, consumer goods is quite a broad term, but I, th I think the, the, the focus on, on grocery is it's something that we all do. We all buy must-haves. So, you know, the nice-to-haves in terms of some luxury items, you, one, you generally find brands don't discount on them. There's the Jimmy Choo shoes you won't ever get on a discount price, so why go and try and sell a solution for that? For us, it's about taking what you do every day and converting that into the, the stuff that you wish you could buy, and that was the focus on grocery. We've been developing the product for 10 months, and uh, we've just launched on the 1st of July. We've just launched our website and Mobi site. We've submitted our app and our app's due to be released in the next two weeks. Um, so very exciting times for us and we're obviously full steam ahead at the moment um, and looking forward into the future and how we can grow this product and, and improve on it. So we've looked at the different barriers to South Africans using coupons obviously in this country and what we've done is try to overcome those barriers. So for example, um, nobody wants to be that person at the front of the till holding everybody up while they try and explain to the teller where they got their coupon from. So with our service, you can do that at home. You upload your till slip from the comfort of your own home discreetly. No one has to see that. So we've looked at all the different barriers and addressed them through uh, in the development of this product. And people always go, oh, you're a tech company. And no, we're not. We're a service company. And mobile is communication. So what we are doing is we're opening up for shoppers to talk to brands and brands to talk to shoppers when you're looking to purchase. And that's all we are. We're facilitating communication at the end of the day and meeting the needs of the two. And for me, one of the crazy frustrations uh, is whenever I'm uh, on a magazine or on TV or on, uh, on various other channels, there's, there's brands throwing stuff at me left, right and center. But I walk into store and I go, hmm, when is, I wonder what shaving cream is best for me to buy? And suddenly there's tumbleweed. And, and we're saying, hey, but brands, why aren't you engaging with those guys at, at that specific time? To answer your question in terms of growth strategy for us, in terms of we're looking, a growth strategy is to, fortunately in South Africa, it's a very um, isolated or narrowed down market in terms of brands. There are a few brand owners. So for us, it's working closely and partnering with the various key brand manufacturers or distributors in this country, um, in, in, this in this market. And from a consumer point of view, it's growing that awareness. And our clever guys who you can see behind me, they've identified target markets to tackle and manage and, and, and bring that through from both a technical and from a needing to save who's making the purchase decision.